Today I'm going to try to attempt to make a mermaid core dress for a trip that I have in just a couple days. I have had this dress for over six months and I've just been like, I don't know what to do with it. And then finally, I'm going on this brand trip with Purito. So make sure to stay tuned for the vlog. And for one of their dinners, they wanted us to really like dress up in like mermaid core. And that's when I was like, okay, finally, this dress is gonna get her thrift flip moment. We're already starting off with a really great base. I have an idea of what I'm gonna do thanks to my sister. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take off the sleeve because I'm trying to save as much fabric as I can. And then we're gonna get into it, so. Good luck. And don't fuck it up. All right, the two arms are off. Now we're going to uh, seam rip inside here to take out the padding. That's really messed up. Abby, what, why you gotta, what do you think is happening? Hmm? Oh, she fits nicely. I'm gonna try to take out little sequins that are glued onto the dress and hopefully just try to do it in a way where it's not gonna get super damaged because I really need all the fabric that I can get. That's gonna take a while, but let's go. There's no way I can get all of this and the bigger ones are starting to catch the lace. I just took out like two lines from the bottom. Now what I'm gonna do is seam rip the strap, arm strap, 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 strap. So ideally, the dress would be around here. I really wish I could take out some additional. I think I'm gonna try to take out some, just a little bit more. So initially my sister said to take out the zipper, but because I wanna wear this with a strapless bra and I always have to wear boob tape with it, I'm gonna keep the zipper there so at least when I wear a strapless bra, it'll be hidden. I mean, it looks cute like this and I really wanna make a slit, but that's, it, it feels like in theory, this is gonna be easy, but a lot of the time is spent of me just like so i'm just gonna continue taking these off then yeah i think that's the best course but ah she looks cute like this oh my god but so cute so so cute it is a new day <laughs> i'm nervous I'm nervous because, okay, so the armhole is here, so I'm like, I can't cut it from like the armhole. Like I have to cut it this way, but what I'm really scared about is that once I cut it, this whole part is just gonna have no form and it's just gonna fall. But I think what I'm gonna do is, I know this is gonna be really high, but I don't wanna take this out just yet. So I think I'm just gonna cut it from here all the way to the other side. And I was trying to save as much fabric as I could, but I was hoping to add in like, you know, like little straps and everything. I guess if I did add the straps, then the top part would it fall off. Seam rip this up because obviously it cannot have the dress be this high anymore. So I'm gonna seam rip this, cut this off, and oh, I'm nervous. I should cut it from like where this was cut but I know it's not gonna be that high right like there's no way unless I added straps there but I still don't know how that would work so I'm just gonna chop this one like if I had straps right here that would be best but or do I want to have straps I don't know, I'm freaking out. Oh. Glad that you picked up, cause girl, I, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Were you looking up YouTube videos? No. no. My mom is the same, I was like, I was over here like, oh, I did this right, and I see, I see you calling, I'm like, oh. We really are living parallel lives. Seriously. It looks good. The shape looks good. And those little uh, points, you should add a strap. The thing is, I don't have enough fabric. Where's all the stuff that you cut off? Um, like, well, you haven't cut the back yet. Have this like high or low, but it's still not no, enough just fabric. Have it, low. Just have it like where, where it's going like this, uh -huh. just have it go straight. Uh, okay, okay. What you could do is literally with all those, 
just cut enough little squares so you can sew them together. I've consulted with my sister and what she said, instead of saving this fabric that I have here, I should, for the back, I just need to cut all the way like where it is, but I'm gonna cut a little bit higher so that I have some seam allowance because you already know I am infamous for not having enough seam allowance. <laughs> also said to do the straps because even though I really love it, just strapless, as we both were like, how the fuck is it gonna stay up? I don't think I have enough time to like go get like boning and get like things. So I'm gonna use all the scraps that I can from that one little piece of fabric to make some spaghetti straps. I think I'm gonna have like lace and then just just the lining, the blue lining in the back or something so that it just stays up. My next thing from here is going to be taking all of these little fabric scraps that it can and making it, hopefully girl, some spaghetti straps. I don't think I could make it with both of them so I'm just gonna take the lining off of the lace. I really need to try to take as much off again. I took off everyone but some of them have some green bits in there and there's some rather large holes that i have made now it's time to assemble these pieces into a spaghetti strap and then from there that's when we could start putting everything together i have my little pieces here i'm gonna Cut this off and cut. Mm, there we go. So I'm going to sew this together, sew this together, and hopefully I'm gonna make these as a front straps. And then with the rest of these, I'm gonna make the back straps. <laughs> Okay, I have my pieces. So now I'm going to cut them. Will this be enough? Here is one spaghetti strap, I'm guessing. Now I'm going to fold it right sides together. Sew it down, I guess. So I finished one strap, but as you can see, there's some parts when it's just a mesh, it's really, really thin and it's obviously very wonky. So I cut out this strap that's a little bit thicker, like an inch and a half, the other one was just an inch. My only concern is that if this doesn't work out, then I'm stuck with just one. So let's see. I have the straps done, <laughs> but they look fucking sad. The dress is gonna look cute. And then I have these sad straps. I really didn't want to. My sister has suggested I should go probably fabric shopping, find a swatch that matches the color and just use that for the straps if I didn't have enough fabric. It looks crusty, man, it looks sad. The dress is gonna look nice and I don't want the straps to like make it look like a really shitty job. I'm gonna have to go tomorrow to Dongnaemun. <laughs> I didn't want to. I have so many things to do this week. This week and weekend. Dude. Of course, as I was putting it on the form, let me just like unzip it, put it over and zip it. And because I cut off the back, you already know what happened. The zipper came off. And normally this isn't a problem if it's a regular zipper, but this is an invisible zipper. <laughs> I'm about to cry. I'm so over this. I have so many other things to do, but I have to finish this dress. I think I'm not going to go tomorrow and I'm just going to have to do this dress with these wonky things. I want to cry because I'm really frustrated. <laughs> Luckily though, the zipper isn't like such a big deal because the fabric is really stretchy. I could just sew it and it'll just be a new seam. But having the zipper is, is nice. Hello, it's me. Still doing the zipper thing, just trying. And I think I got it. Oh my God, I think I got it. I fucking did it, bro. Oh uh, my God. I can't believe it. Dude. <sighs> oh my God, thank you, Jesus Lord. Uh, my hands, my hands are all messed up. This poor nail. Oh my God, I can't believe it. <sighs> now that I calmed down from 
my mini meltdown. I'm just gonna make the straps with the lining. I wish I could have it with like some nice like chiffon, how the ruffles are. But the reality is that I don't have that much time to be spending two to three hours for me to get this chiffon. And it's like two to three hours that I could be editing this video, finishing this dress or whatever. So we're just gonna go with this. I think later on, if I want to, then I'll change out the straps. But for right now, I think my best course of action would be this. Okay, so I attached any extra fabric that I can to these two top lining pieces. Now I'm gonna cut out two shapes, sew it, turn it inside out, and have spaghetti straps. Get a little bit thinner. I made them super thin. They're kind of like bulky and clunky ish, but you know what? I think we're just gonna use this. You know, we want that like very thin 90s kind of style strap. All right, I'm gonna secure this like one more time and then I'm gonna turn this one over. Okay, so I finished them. Some of them I see where the seam ripped, but because I stretched them out so much, <laughs> I'm not gonna need all of this, so I can definitely cut some off. Whatever is good, I'm just gonna use that as a little strap and pray to God it's gonna be okay. I actually have to get ready. I have like less than 30, actually, I'm already late. I'm already late because I have to take this guy out. Good morning, friends. I talked with my sister last night and I was like, oh, I think I'm gonna go get some new fabric to make like the straps better. She's like, I think it would be fine once it gets stretched out, which she was right, of course. I'm gonna use these regular straps that I did. I really, really think this dress would benefit from a slit. One thing that my sister and I have talked about is just seam ripping right here, just having that be the, the slit. The only problem is, is that these, on the bottom right here, there's a plastic thingy that holds its shape. What we're worried with is like once I cut it, is that gonna like just fall? What is gonna happen? I was thinking, why don't I just seam rip like a little hole, put my leg through and see if I like it or not. But then right now I was like, why don't I just scrunch it up? It's kind of like this. It's less work. I'll just have to hand sew it right here. Given my time restraints that I have right now, everything else, maybe I don't want to just do something so permanent. Yeah, I don't know, this could also be a potential other option. I sent it over to my sister. I wanna hear what she says. If she's like, yes, then I'll do it. If she's like, mm -mm, then I won't. And yes, I go by what my big sister said. For some things though, for some things. If you don't have this little like stick thing to turn straps inside out, you really need it. Once you get into the groove of it, you can just bada bing, bada boom, baby. Inside out, stick. So I made an additional strap because I was gonna replace it, but I fucked up. This one is actually thicker than these two, so. I can't use it and I don't have any more fabric, so. Anyways, I am planning on finishing this by 12 exactly one hour because I have a lot of things to do and I just have to get out of my head and just do it. Also, my sister said to go ahead with a ruffle thing. She said it looked really cute. I think it looked really cute too. So I'm gonna sew this up. All I am doing is flipping everything inside out. So the lace is in the middle. Lining, lace, lining. And then all you have to do is just sew, flip it back out, and I think that's it. I hope that's it. With the strap, you have to put it from the inside. So I have the lining here. I'm gonna open this up. So there it is, sandwiched in between my fabric. Guessing that when I turn it over, ta-da, it'll be like that. Girl, that's what we're hoping. Now I'm gonna do the same to the other side. Okay, we're gonna have this. Here we go. Am I a little nervous? Yes, but it's literally about to be 12 and I'm, I haven't even started sewing yet, so. I gotta film some shots for this for the thumbnail, so. Mom. 
moment of truth. Okay, okay, did it! Oh my god, I did it. Oh my god, I did it. Uh-uh. Obviously, I did this one better than this one, though. Wow, so proud of myself right now. This is amazing. There's also a lot of bulk right here, so I'm gonna snip this off so the edge is a lot sharper. It's more pointy now. Okay, now I'm going to take out some of the zipper teeth with these pliers. I don't know what to do about this ruffly part. I think I'm gonna have to hand stitch that because I really don't wanna just sew right on top of it. I don't know. If the ruffle part is here, I'm just gonna sew this part and I'm gonna sew that part, leave this part open so I can hand stitch it. This part goes up. <laughs> Uh we're gonna leave it like that. I don't care and a kit 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 and kick a 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 I was honestly wondering whether I should lower the strap so it's like more cleavage, but I don't know if this is gonna be too, if it, if it would be too low. So the sleeves, this is all wonky. So I'm just going to iron it, fold it, zigzag stitch it all around. I'm gonna attach this end point to here. So I showed my sister some progress on the dress and she had a visceral reaction to when she saw the neckline. I am disgusted. It ain't even for me. Yeah, so now I have to go ahead and redo it because she was like, you ain't leaving the house like that. I was very against trying redoing anything. I was like, I don't care. The neck looks fine. I need to just be done with this. Like, I, I am done. I want to be done. I have things to do. A friend asked me if I could hang out and I wanted to say yes, but I can't because I have to finish stuff. With what she told me and with what my brain was allowing to come through, I tried to like sew some stuff thinking that's what she had suggested, which she did, but I don't know if I did it exactly right. All in all, it just didn't come out the best. So I'm just not even gonna go through it because it's just, there's no point. But the thing was, I was just really done with just sewing at this point. Maybe my second mental breakdown, I was just like, I wanna be done with everything. And also the next day I was going on a day trip with my friends. I wanted to pack for that and all that stuff. So my brain was like, ah, after that I ended up redoing it, which you will see in a little bit. I think instead of taking from here, I have to take from here. I have to take a lot from here. <sighs> <laughs> Clearly, I was freaking over this, and that's why just knowing your headspace is so important. Because after I had that day trip, I was able to step away from sewing and all that stuff and just hang out with my friends. So then the next day, which you will see in a little bit, I was able to look at everything with fresh eyes and with not so much anxiety and actually get this thing done. <laughs> so, yeah, just make sure to check in with your headspace when you're working on projects like this. Like, if it's getting too much, step away, girl, step away. But it's still, I don't think it's what my sister wanted. Uh, and yeah, anyways, this just took a lot of time and I was starting to get really stressed out, very anxious and starting to just do like a worse job. Now I'm going to be attaching the arms. I'm gonna hand sew it on to like right here, these little points. And then from there, my last thing is going to be making this ruffle situation happen. The arms are attached. I did have to take them in because Oops, I did have to take this in because it was falling down a lot. She looks cute. Maybe I should bring it in just a little bit more. I've had like pretty stressful sewing thrift flip experiences, but this one was pretty stressful. I was really like, I, what am I doing? I thought it was gonna be something easy. I think this really cemented the fact that I think I need to take like a day and just get extra scrap fabric that I have and just continuously practice what I'm seeing. I gotta get in the Skillshare videos again and I really need to just take a day to just practice everything. Yeah, so my sister doesn't really like how this neckline is. So 
I really, really didn't want to do this because I was like, it's already perfect. Like, everything's fine. Why we got to do more? This is my last thing I'm going to try. She had suggested this already from the beginning, but I was being very stubborn and I didn't want to do it. But just looking at it right now with even though tomorrow is the day I have to leave, but I'm going to try to just take this out and put this more over here. So I'm going to seam rip this and just move this right here and hopefully that works. I have done so much seam ripping. <laughs> I basically had to go back and take out everything that I did, but some of the parts I already cut off the excess fabric. So I finished completing it on one side. I'm gonna do it on the other side and we're gonna hope and pray that it looks better. So we have a problem. I don't know if we're gonna fix it right now because um, yeah. Please excuse the mess that you see behind you. This is the best that we're gonna do. Maybe I could have brought it even more, but girl, that's it. I'm gonna add in the last little ruffle thing. So what my sister suggested was getting one of the lace straps that I made, attaching it to the lining, bringing it around, and I'll be able to safety pin this in place, depending on how high I want it to go. And then I can just boop, kind of like blinds. It reminds me of blinds. All right, now let's finally get to the before and after. I'm so excited to show you guys this because I absolutely loved how this came out. Thanks to my sister for the idea of how to do it and just the help along the way, even though I was stubborn at times. But yes, no, I absolutely love how this dress came out. It's giving me like showgirly vibes. I really liked the ruching instead of the actual slit that I was gonna do. This looks way better and I could put it back to a regular dress if I want to. I think moving forward, I, oh, don't, don't mind that strap i just forgot to tuck it in but moving forward i once i go to like the fabric market i'm gonna try to get like a chiffon uh, material and redo the straps and probably make it even like a little bit tighter but i think just with the time that i had this was the best that i could do so that is it um but i really really liked it when the girls saw the dress at the trip they're like oh my god and i was like i know because i did that and, <laughs> and anyways i will catch you guys in the next one i hope you guys enjoyed this video um hope you're doing well and that is all bye Bye. Oh, and stay tuned for the Pareto vlog, uh, vlog, because it's going to be so good. Okay, bye.